Hello again. It's Friday, November 11th, 2022. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. The Old Stone Church Choir of Lewisburg will present a Dr. Calvin A. McClendon Memorial Concert this Sunday at 3 p.m. at the Wrightsville Baptist Church. Dr. Brennan Wood will direct the choir and will be assisted by accompanist Andra Edge. Several classic anthems and spirituals along with Calvin's favorites will be performed. Mark your calendar for November 18th and 19th, the very special days of the Chris Crindle Market at the Clifton Forge School of the Arts in Clifton Forge. The special event will feature 40 custom vendors, great food, music, and Santa will also be on the scene both days. Clifton Forge School of the Arts Executive Director Keely Massey outlined much more that will be happening in a video now on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. VFW Post 1033 held a respectful Veterans Day ceremony in Covington earlier today at the Farmer's Market location due to rainy conditions. New Post Commander Sean Wright was on hand with other post officers. A video of the complete ceremony will be available soon on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. And now a word from our sponsor. The Clifton Forge Town Council met Wednesday night with newly elected council member Ben Nicely showing up for a quick photo. Mac Beard told the council that the love sign ceremony was set for November 19th at 5.15 p.m. The tree lighting ceremony will be held shortly thereafter at 6 p.m. at Town Hall. Separately, Town Manager Chuck Unruh updated the council on several issues. There's video of all of this right now on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. At long last on Thursday, two big improvements at Covington's Thacker Avenue. A new sidewalk with heavy-duty railing is now installed, and the entrance to the Jameson Commerce Center has been repaved. The Advancement Foundation announced the beginning of this year's Gauntlet Entrepreneurial Competition, with tens of thousands of dollars at stake for the winners. Log on to the AlleghenyJournal.com for the full story and also how to participate. And we'll be right back. And now for regional obituaries. Charles Hosey, 71, of Clifton Forge, died Tuesday. Kenneth Adkins, 66, of White Sulphur Springs, died Sunday. Robert St. Clair, 85, of Covington, passed away on Tuesday. Robert Wheeler, 70, of Lewisburg, died Sunday. Janet Ryder, 90, of White Sulphur Springs, died Wednesday and Ruth Sorrells, 92 of Bina Vista, passed away on Tuesday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. And now it's time to check out the local weather forecast. On Saturday, it should be partly cloudy, high of 61 and a low of 35. On Sunday, mostly sunny, high of 45 and a low of 27. And on Monday, partly cloudy, high of 47 and a low of 28 degrees. And that's the way it is on Friday, November 11th, 2022. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.